of things. I've done keto before and the pump sucked, but I didn't pay attention to sodium. Boom! Boom! What's up everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com alongside Sean Torbati, High Performance Nutrition. And Ambrosia. Yes, and let's just say Ambrosia. Nothing else exists except for Ambrosia right now. Check it out, guys. Naturalite. So that's our electrolyte. Now, why am I mentioning that to begin with? Because we both are, we've been pretty carb-intensive dudes for most of our lives. We've been, we've been fueling our bodies with glucose. A lot of glucose. So both of us, me trying the carnivore diet, and Sean has his keto life. You can learn more about that at youtube.com slash Sean Torbati, right? You could probably put the link below. Oh, I could put the link below as well, but there's where it's at. So what I've noticed now a lot, I'm going to be doing diets on the, uh, I'm sorry, feedback and vlogs on my ghetto channel, youtube.com slash lowbliner. But one thing people want to ask is how are the pumps during training? Are you able to get a, my pumps have been better than ever with no carbohydrate, not, not an iota of carbohydrate in my diet. My performance has been great. We were just at Exos today and we are performing alongside people who perform and outperforming them. Energy is amazing, but I think it's beyond the glucose, it's beyond the ketones. I think it has to do with electrolytes, Sean. Well, I think electrolytes is a key part of it. Yes. The other thing that we can't ignore is water intake. Absolutely. Adequate water intake is where a pump and where performance will begin and end. But from there, electrolyte intake is going to be crucial. Very crucial. I think my pumps have been better. I've been doing this. I've been adding extra sea salt to my food. Now, if you look at the macros and stuff, the total nutrients for like ribeye or any kind of steak or beef, it has a good amount of sodium and potassium electrolytes already in it. I put extra sea salt on that. I sip about two scoops, two to four scoops of Naturalite in about, I have my, my really big shaker, but anyway, my 32 ounce shaker. So I'll sip this with two to four scoops of natural light throughout the day, I'll probably go through four to five of those. Plus, I'm not recommending everybody does this, but just take, take, take this for what it's worth. And then before training, I'll put four to five scoops with machine fuel, which has coconut water powder in it, which is sodium, um, alongside Clash and Vasky. And my workouts have been the best ever, as far as, um, as far as the feel goes, as far as the pump, at certain times it feels like for you guys following my Instagram story, my muscles are going to just burst out of their skin. And before we even came here, I was watching Sean's story and Sean's having similar experience with just, um, you know, his, his workouts, even being keto, which is something I've done keto before and the pump sucked, but I didn't pay attention to sodium. What are the electrolytes? Yeah. Sodium. Potassium, magnesium are the ones we're really focusing on. Calcium. And calcium, mm -hmm. uh, the, the major, major electrolytes, major minerals. These are all minerals, by the way. Mm -hmm. You need them for not only proper muscle function, not only carrying electrical signals in the body, but also just general metabolic processes too. Magnesium is nicknamed the master mineral because it's involved in over 300 metabolic processes. So having adequate amounts of sodium, potassium, magnesium, and calcium, you can't get away, you can't get away without it. And let me also say something, ZMA is a popular supplement among people with people, oh, it gives me crazy dreams, crazy dreams. I'm not going to say it gives anybody crazy dreams. I've done videos on how it probably doesn't give you crazy dreams, but the main component, zinc, if you eat meat, your zinc's probably okay. You're probably not deficient in zinc, but magnesium is the key to that formula being what it is. Magnesium is the key to, shit, they put in a lot of pre-workouts even before. I mean, if you overdo it, it's not that good of a thing. Um, different kinds of magnesium. You just go to the bathroom. You just go, but it makes it. And also, here's another thing. Sean Baker, who's the guy from the Carnivore Diet, you know, I showed him my Naturalite and what's in it and stuff. And I said, look, you know, what if I do have difficulties with loose stool or weird stool or whatever? He's like, pay attention to your electrolytes. This is something even people are, I mean, this is something I wish I knew before when I tried keto. But regardless if you're keto or not, if you're not getting in adequate electrolytes, because I'm guessing these people eat pretty healthy, pretty clean. They don't eat a lot of processed foods. If you're eating processed foods like I did when I tried veganism, everything's processed to get enough protein. Okay, you're probably going to be okay with sodium. But then you're missing the boat with the other electrolytes. Yeah. So just pay attention and look into an electrolyte formula. I'm not, if I didn't sell an electrolyte formula, based on my feedback, I would tell you to look into an electrolyte formula. I make Naturalite. The cool thing about Naturalite and Sean, when I first showed Sean this, he's like, dude, I love this shit. Because I use only sea salt as my sodium. 
like the other so sodium chloride that's eh, it's kind of like kind of like the peasant sodium like sea salt is so awesome so but but that's what we're getting at is that see and, and if you don't want to buy it that's fine just be sure to put some sea salt on your food if you're eating clean at least but i mean here you're getting a great ratio of sodium potassium and magnesium yes. in one right and so here's the thing i have a quick tip for some of the younger viewers and maybe some of the older ones who are still uh, not quite acting their age yet. If you drink excessively uh, one evening, the next day, one of the things you are going to be deficient in and need to make up is electrolyte. Mm -hmm. So you may want to consider having a couple scoops of natural light or an electrolyte type of beverage right when you right when you wake right up. I mean, hey, uh, yeah, that kind of speaks for itself. But I will say that keep that in mind. If you're feeling like you have a headache, if you feel like low energy and you've eaten and everything's on point, you had a good night's sleep, you may be electrolyte deficient. And the most popular electrolyte drink ever made is what? Well, it's Gatorade. It's Gatorade. And it's but what you get with Gatorade is either, uh, uh, yeah, you either get a lot of sugar or um, with their zero versions, you do get artificial sweetener as well. So natural light's a great way to avoid it's all that natural, too. Yeah. natural color, sweetener, flavor. And I'm going to say, since everybody watches, looking at performance, this is something that a lot of people have put together. And I think people always ask, should I buy this or this? There is a perfect stack on the market. I feel just look into this again, man, this is not a sales video. We're really excited. We are really excited about fucking electrolytes right now. PA7 stacked with Peak Physicor. HPN PA7 Peak Physicor. Just look at, we're going to just leave it there. If you're interested in it, look into it, but they're a fucking synergistic stack. Yeah. Guys, electrolytes. Um, what we got to say, don't be afraid of sodium. Don't be afraid of it. It is awesome for you. And if you're a healthy individual, it'll increase your performance like no other supplement. I believe it is probably the most just underlooked, under undervalued supplement you could possibly put in your body. All right, guys, again, be sure to check out HPN, PA7, Peak Physical, or Stack, Naturalite, link down below, Sean Torbody, youtube.com slash Sean Torbody. That's not a game.